Hey everyone, Mossy Ranch Backyard Farm here in uh, outside of Portland, Oregon. Just wanted to give you a little update on uh, my new chicks. It's been uh, just about three months since uh, we got our new chicks. As you could see, you could have seen from the previous videos, um, we kept them in a brooder in indoors for uh, the first two months under a heat lamp and uh, then we moved them here to our uh, main coop um, and they've been in here it has a little run on the bottom that closes on our all sides and it's connected to this big run where uh, I keep my chickens when they're not free ranging which is they just ba basically just spend the night and eat here but the big chickens um, I've been sleeping here in the in the big run and the babies have been down here and they've been exposed to each other just through the screen for about a month just so the older ladies could get used to them. Um, uh, the last time I had, the last few times I had chicks I didn't have this many so um, I introduced them at night. I just put them in uh, in the coop with the older ladies and uh, in the morning they all woke up and just they were there um, they were together so this time I had uh, a lot and so I decided to do this try out this method and it worked out great so uh, yesterday was the first day where I opened that back door there uh, so the chickens could have access to these guys and vice versa and they all got along pretty well. These guys spent most of the day upstairs because uh, they're just kind of scared of everything. Everything's new to them. But um, then this morning when I let I let the chickens and ducks out, um, I opened this door and these guys were out and about and uh, um, they all seemed to get along. Uh, they all had uh, breakfast. I feed breakfast here to the older chickens. Uh, just I've been doing this just this spring. Uh, just so I just want to make sure that there, I have enough feeders to where nobody's picking a fight at the at dinner time. So I have uh, my main feeder in there, but the ducks are feeding in there. So uh, and they were kind of confined to this outdoor. Uh, spot out here this outdoor run because they were scared of everything so now that they're used to the yard uh, the chickens have free range in here as well but uh, just to, as long as I for the first couple days that I have these guys out I'm still gonna feed and give treats here to the older ladies just so they don't pick a fight with these younger guys but they all seem to do okay they're coming around and kind of checking them out uh, I saw them drinking out of here all together and uh, nobody's done anything. Um, once, uh, just something to know is once you introduce chicks to an, your current flock that um, it's going to change how everything works. So it's going to change your pecking order. So you're going to see these guys go at it a little bit just even between each other just to reestablish who the bosses um, and uh, they'll do that for the like three days uh, up to a week but just uh, kind of keep an eye out like all day today I'll just check up on them um, make sure that there's no like real fighting going on but so far so good and if you have Polish which are these guys with the uh, puffy heads here um, they kind of tend to get picked on just because they're real docile and because uh, their feathers are kind of flying everywhere so it just attracts the eye and so um, bigger chickens tend to kind of peck at them uh, and peck their feathers off their heads which can cause you know them to get injured but I got three of these guys so uh, hopefully there's not just one that gets picked on and it kind of evens out um, so yeah everything's doing good they're all doing good eating getting their exercise on and uh, just another day here at the backyard ranch it's a beautiful day it's gonna be nice all week I'll do a future video I just planted a 
some uh, cold, semi-cold hardy watermelons and melons out in the front and I'll kind of do a little video on just if you live in a northern climate just the the hotter spot hottest spot you can find um, the better for those guys because I've never had success with them so um, uh, just keep trying so until next time everybody's doing good the ducks are right at home Everybody's getting along, and it's nice when that happens. So until next time.